Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine, your very favourite place for the latest scuba diving news and reviews. Uh, this is Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any questions, by all means pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. Use the Ask Mark hashtag and it will get you and your question featured in an up and coming video. Um, and if you do see any unanswered questions down in the comments, by all means let them know the correct answer. This week I'm answering a question from Nisha about the advantages of modern battery technology in torches and dive computers. So Nisha says, with the advantages of battery technology, is a tank lamp still superior to standalone units like the Apex Lunar ADV in shorter dives than two hours? What is their reliability in practice? Uh, one can assume that a sealed unit should be better, but in personal or in my personal experience was the exact opposite. So there are pros and cons to both designs and we're starting to see this in dive computers also. Factory sealed electronics with rechargeable batteries in my experience are easy and reliable. Um, I have had issues with them before um, but I've also had issues with uh, re no, reusable batteries or batteries that you um, not reusable but replaceable batteries that's the word I'm looking for um, with a factory sealed unit like this one you never need to worry about the seal leaking or at least whilst it's in warranty because it's the manufacturer's problem basically i mean granted you're the one without a torch but you you don't have to pay for the repairs because there's no physical way to open it uh, unless you've obviously been tampering with it um, you never have to worry about that seal leaking and even if it does it's really hard for that to be blamed on user error. Uh, I had one prototype that did, I was on a night dive in the Red Sea and the light just cut out. Didn't think too much of it, it's a prototype. Um, got back on the, uh, on the boat and I, at that point I didn't think too much of it. I figured the battery had just died and I put it to, um, uh, to one side and then when I came back to it, the actual back of the, uh, the case had popped out, which suggests that the battery was expanding. Um, so that got um, isolated very quickly. Um, but then they, um, granted it was just a prototype, so they replaced it. Um, as far as like the, the usability on short dives, it's convenient because you can top up the batteries frequently and you'll, you'll never like miss out on a, uh, on a dive. Um, the, the downsides is, is that with all rechargeable batteries, they do wear out and not hold charge for, um, I mean, if you think of your last uh, smartphone, how long did that last having done that recharge cycle um, that after a few years or however many cycles because it's all done on charge cycles um, as soon as they get to that point then the battery doesn't hold as much charge and eventually it just really drains the battery as soon as you use it so they're really convenient but they do have a bit of a shelf life with a a traditional torch where you use separate um, single-use batteries uh, or even rechargeable batteries then if the battery cell dies then you dispose of that and then you get a replacement um, it, but the downsides to it is if you've been on a dive and you've used up an hour's worth of the battery then one, in a lot of cases, you don't know exactly how much power is left in these batteries for dive number two. And also, if, if you do say, oh, you know what, I definitely know that I want to, um, to have plenty of battery life on this second dive, I'm going to put them to one side and then put some fresh batteries in. Well, then you still have these batteries that still have some charge in it um what do you do with them are you ever actually going to use them so it, it gets kind of muddy whereas with a rechargeable one you can just top it up um 
uh, as long as you have access to a, uh, a powered USB or, uh, or plug socket. Um, they're, they are good. And it's not as if you'll get 50 dives out of it and then a rechargeable torch is useless. That's not the case. You can get hundreds and hundreds of dives out of it and really do get your money's worth. Um, and on shorter recreational dives, yeah, a, um, a rechargeable um, battery is very good. Most of my torches that I tend to use as like primary torches have rechargeable batteries like this one. Um, but I do keep a, um, a traditional torch with me so that, um, yeah, you can just fit those uh, those fresh batteries. And I imagine that this torch is probably gonna outlast this torch because as long as you look after those seals, um, there, there's no reason why a torch like this one won't last forever. The, the real wear point is in that uh, the, that double seal. So as long as you grease them, keep them nice and clean and swap them over at the first sign of wear and tear, then there's there's very little chance of, uh, of water ingress and flooding um, unless you're bashing it about for whatever reason. Um, so as long as you look after your equipment, then the good old fashioned design as it were um, will definitely do the job. But saying that, I do like the convenience of the rechargeable batteries. It's um, it's just kind of one of those things. With my dive computer, um, one of the big things was choosing the uh, the battery style. Um, a lot of the newer dive computers have rechargeable batteries, but again, depending on how much you use it, uh, if you're using it frequently, then actually the, the battery wears out before long and, and it's actually worth getting one that has a user changeable battery. Uh, that way the computer can last forever, basically, as long as you look after it and the seal, but the uh, the battery, you just need to swap it out every now and then. It's it's a modern problem and, um, and one of those that you kind of have to find the right answer for yourself. Uh, they, they both do the job really well uh, it's just whether you want the convenience of being able to top up a battery or like the longevity of replaceable batteries it really is a tough one and and there is no like right or wrong answer um it's it's yeah it's the longevity of the rechargeable battery versus the uh, the potential for leaks and floods um yeah, you kind of, you pick your poison, basically. Uh, if there was something in the middle, then yeah, that would be perfect. Uh, but there isn't, uh, it's one or the other. And um, they both do the job perfectly well. And the the battery style, especially on a torch, probably wouldn't put me off um, choosing it. But do, uh, do look up how best to recharge torches um, because you, I, as far as I'm aware, you're not really supposed to charge it all the way up to 100% and uh, and charge it up every single time. It's actually quite good to uh, to use the the kind of the lower percentages of battery um, amounts and not just keep topping it up. I think that can damage rechargeable batteries and uh, and they don't last quite as long. Um, if I'm wrong about that, by all means, put it down in the uh, in the description below. I'm by far from a, a battery expert. Um, but yeah, what, what do you um, community prefer? Do you prefer rechargeable batteries in torches and dive computers or like uh, replaceable batteries? Uh, yeah, in my dive computer, in my Perdix, I use a, a replaceable battery, uh, but in torches, I do tend to lean more towards rechargeable, um, but I still have the good classic um, because it's really easy to get to like c-cell batteries um, when you're out and about uh, i don't know but by all means let us know down in the comments below what uh, which you prefer and if you do have any other questions by all means put them down in the comment section underneath this video use the ask mark hashtag to get your comment featured in up and coming video and of course remember to head over to our website scubadivermag.com check out our latest scuba diving news and reviews i've got a load of tech line dive equipment at the moment that i'm testing out and uh, yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.